A bit of history in the Woodmont community may soon turn, uh, turn into a stretch of new development. The News Channel 5's John Quill Newlands in our newsroom. And John Quill, this has a number of neighbors upset. That's right, Rory. The area is an older community with most homes sitting on about half acre properties. However, there are plans in the works right now to build six homes on one of those properties. The community says not so fast. Among the beautiful homes that line Woodmont Boulevard, there is one unlike the rest. This cottage like home has sat vacant for years, but it's on the stop for many tourists. Years ago, a young Reese Witherspoon grew up here. Her parents sold the home in 2010. It's a very nice house. It's just not been cared for at all of late. So when a developer bought the property, the surrounding neighborhood looked forward to seeing the new plans. Even in the house, you know, it's not the prettiest house on the block, so we wanted it to be rebuilt. But we were hoping that someone would just tear it down and build two houses. So we are currently standing here on my porch. Instead, a proposal submitted to the city in late August shows six separate lots on the half acre plot and going all the way across. Residents fear so six tall and skinny homes will replace Witherspoon's old property. It is not fitting of the neighborhood at all. There isn't a single residence in this area that I'm aware of that's built on a 25 foot wide lot. In September, the city council passed a bill that requires all new duplexes in Davidson County to be no taller than one and a half times their width. The outcome less tall and skinny developments, but that's exactly what these residents believe is on their doorstep. When I sell real estate, I'm all for development and I'm all for raising your real estate value, but they have to also fit the neighborhood. The current property owner also owns Preservation Station near downtown. We tried multiple times to reach him, but our calls and emails were not returned. In the meantime, these residents are ready to fight to preserve the look of their neighborhood. But doing six houses on a half acre lot is just unknown in this area. This has already gone before the Metropolitan Zoning Appeals Board. Initially, the builder said he wanted to put four lots on that property. However, he withdrew those plans after a community pushback. Right now, it's not clear why he now has submitted a new plan to build six homes. In the newsroom, John Full Newman, News Channel 5 HD. John Quill, thanks. Reese Witherspoon lived in that home until she graduated high school at Harpeth Hall in 1994.